Boeing's Starliner program has become one of the most controversial space initiatives in recent history. After NASA decided that the U.S. needed multiple spacecraft to ferry astronauts to and from the International Space Station, they awarded contracts to both Boeing and SpaceX. The plan was meant to ensure reliable access to space, especially after the retirement of the space shuttle left the U.S. reliant on Russia's Soyuz program. However, while SpaceX's Crew Dragon has seen significant success, Boeing's Starliner has faced numerous challenges. Awarded a $4.2 billion contract in 2014, Boeing was expected to develop a spacecraft capable of safely transporting astronauts. But since then, Starliner has been plagued by technical setbacks. The initial test flight in 2019 failed to reach the ISS due to software issues and subsequent problems, including fuel valve malfunctions, have delayed the program further, adding an estimated $1.5 billion in costs. Musk had voiced concerns early on, stating, The world doesn't need another space capsule. Despite these warnings, NASA proceeded, but many now question whether Boeing was the right choice for such a critical mission. The recent crewed launch of Boeing's Starliner has further fueled doubts about the program. What was supposed to be a routine mission has turned into a prolonged crisis, with Boeing unable to return the astronauts safely to Earth. Launched on June 5, 2024, this crewed flight test was initially planned to be a short mission, lasting around a week. However, due to unexpected technical issues, including a helium leak and multiple thruster malfunctions, the mission has been extended far beyond its original scope, leaving the astronauts docked at the International Space Station for what could be several more months. The setbacks began shortly after launch. Although the spacecraft successfully reached orbit, the real problems emerged during docking with the International Space Station, where five of the Starliner's 28 reaction control thrusters malfunctioned. This malfunction has significantly impacted the mission, leading NASA and Boeing to decide on an indefinite extension of Williams and Wilmore's stay aboard the space station while the issues are investigated. This mission, which was meant to demonstrate the viability of Boeing's commercial crew vehicle, has instead turned into a prolonged test of endurance for both the astronauts and the Starliner program. In recent weeks, NASA has been working hard to downplay the growing concerns surrounding the prolonged mission of astronauts Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore aboard Boeing's Starliner. NASA has assured the public that the astronauts are not stranded and can return whenever necessary, but the situation is more serious. The extended stay on the space station has raised significant concerns, not only about the astronauts' well-being, but also about the strain it puts on the station's resources. The International Space Station operates on a tight schedule, with every mission carefully planned years in advance to ensure that supplies like food, water, and equipment are available when needed. The unexpected extension of this mission has disrupted these plans, potentially creating shortages and complicating logistics for upcoming missions. What was meant to be a short stay has turned into a logistical challenge, straining the station's resources and requiring NASA to make difficult decisions about how to manage limited supplies. Moreover, the delays have ripple effects across the entire space program. The ISS is one of the most closely monitored and scheduled facilities with various missions from different countries and companies planned years in advance. Boeing's ongoing issues with Starliner are not just damaging its reputation, they are also affecting other missions. For instance, SpaceX had to delay its Crew-9 launch initially scheduled for this month to late September. This postponement was necessary to avoid congestion at the International Space Station, which is now accommodating astronauts far longer than planned. This isn't just about delayed schedules or minor inconveniences. There's a much bigger issue at hand, and that is the health of the astronauts. This prolonged mission significantly increases their exposure to space radiation and the health risks that come with it. In space, astronauts are exposed to much higher levels of cosmic and solar radiation compared to Earth. The ISS orbits outside Earth's protective atmosphere, leaving its occupants vulnerable to radiation levels that are up to 30 times higher than those on Earth. Prolonged exposure can lead to serious health issues, including an increased risk of cancer, 
tissue damage, and nervous system complications. According to NASA, radiation levels on the space station can range from 150 to 6,000 chest X-rays over the duration of their stay. The longer Williams and Wilmore remain in space, the more these risks compound, raising concerns about their long-term health. Additionally, the microgravity environment of space also poses significant risks. Astronauts typically lose about 1% to 2% of their bone density per month, particularly in critical areas like the spine and hips. This rapid bone loss can lead to osteoporosis and a higher risk of fractures. Muscle atrophy is another concern, as the absence of gravity causes muscles to weaken, especially in the legs and lower back. Even with rigorous exercise routines designed to mitigate these effects, the long-term health implications are severe. When it comes to the families of the astronauts, the extended mission has brought a complex mix of concern. Deanna Wilmore, Butch Wilmore's wife, spoke in a recent interview about how they have adjusted their expectations. She mentioned that they now sort of don't expect him until February or March. Similarly, Michael Williams, Sunita's husband, has taken a supportive stance, suggesting that Sunita is coping well with the extended mission. He noted that the ISS is her happy place, implying that she finds fulfillment in her work even under these challenging circumstances. NASA is currently evaluating all options to safely bring astronauts back to Earth, including the possibility of using SpaceX's Crew Dragon if Boeing's Starliner cannot be repaired in time. However, many experts believe that Boeing is unlikely to allow NASA to use SpaceX's spacecraft. This comes from the significant damage it could do to Boeing's already struggling reputation, particularly in comparison to SpaceX, a relatively new and smaller company that has quickly gained prominence in the space industry. Boeing was already a dominant player in the industry long before SpaceX was even founded. Established in 1916, Boeing has been a cornerstone of American aerospace. By the time SpaceX was founded in 2002 by Musk, Boeing had already been in operation for nearly a century and had established itself as a leader in both commercial aviation and space exploration. When NASA awarded contracts to both Boeing and SpaceX in 2014 under the Commercial Crew Program, Boeing was awarded $4.2 billion to develop the Starliner, while SpaceX received $2.6 billion to develop the Crew Dragon. Despite its extensive experience and resources, Starliner's first uncrewed test flight in December 2019 failed to reach the International Space Station due to a software error, and subsequent delays and technical issues have plagued the program. Meanwhile, SpaceX, a newcomer by comparison, successfully launched its first crewed mission with the Crew Dragon in May 2020, just 18 years after the company was founded. If you've stayed with us until now, I've got some exciting news for you. We have the most realistic Starship model available on eBay, and it's priced affordably. Whether you're a space enthusiast or just love collecting models, we invite you to check it out. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.